Good afternoon, everyone. Here it is Wednesday again, and we're going to be cooking another low-carb meal. And I have got a special guest star here with me today. Yeah. Guess who it is? My buddy came down from Canada to visit me. Hi. Lisa from Life and Serenity. So me and her are going to cook today. Rob is out of town. I'm sorry, Rob. Wish you were here with us. But Daryl, of course, is here and he's always ready to eat. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to make some baked chimichangas because we love Mexican around here. Yes, and do. this is a lot less calories than the regular ones. They're not fried. Thanks. So, what do you think, Lisa? Part. Oh, it's going to be delicious. We took this, and what we did was we bought a chicken from Costco the other day. So, we shredded up the chicken, and we have a cup of sharp cheddar cheese. We have a fourth of a cup of green onions. We have a teaspoon of cumin, and we have a half a teaspoon of oregano in here. We're going to take oh, salsa. That's right. I'm sorry. Thank you. And we have a cup of salsa. Your favorite salsa, whatever kind you want to use, you're more than welcome to use. And we just mixed it all up, just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them in our low-carb shells. When we get through, I'll show you. What we're just Fill them all up. up. Mm -mm. Want me to roll? Yeah, you can roll. All right. Lisa's going to roll them there. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll, Lisa. I heard Lisa's used to rolling things. Well, this is how we do it. Yep. All right. Just want to make sure we're on the same that's page here. Thinking. Oh, those are filled just That's right. Oh, my then, God. These going to be good. Yep. And after we get through doing all of these, we're going to come back, and we have two tablespoons of butter, real butter, that we're going to spread on top of them, and we're going to bake them in the oven for 400, on 400 degrees for, i got to see the minutes, but we'll be right back with you. How many minutes is it, Lisa? 25 minutes or 25 until brown. 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. And they're going to make them real crispy on the top. And then we're going to make a guacamole. And we're going to have some sour cream. And whatever else that you care to put on top of, you could. Jalapenos. So, yep, jalapenos. We got that too. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to roll these up, put them back together, come back to you, let you see what they look like before they go in the oven. And then we will come back and show you how we're going to make our guacamole. Stay tuned. Lisa's going to do the next step. Okay, we're back. We are now preheating the convection oven to 400. And Daryl and Lisa both made me realize that I did, when I said chicken from Costco, I did not say a rotisserie chicken. And it was two cups of chopped up rotisserie chicken that we used. That two cups goes a long way. It did. Yeah, she way really, more chicken yeah, she was than like, that. That, that is not two cups. I'm like, that's two cups. And that's going to be plenty for the three of us to eat tonight. Oh, it, we'll have leftovers. Oh, yeah. Whoop, and, whoop. He's whoop whooping, y'all. Uh oh, leftovers. <laughs> He's gonna like it. They looked really put good. I mean, you know, we're doing the low carb, so you can have this butter and you can have the, the low carb things. The chicken doesn't have anything. The salsa is okay. The salsa, yeah. And cheese you can have, green onion. So oh, I mean, it's really not bad for it. It's really not bad as long as you're dieting this way. I don't don't use the low fat cheese. It just no, it's like no, cardboard. It's not you're not. If you want to save the calories, do it another way because the low-fat cheese, that's, it's just gross. If you want to do that, you could just drink one less glass of wine, right? True that, yeah. <laughs> There's Skinny Girl wine, too. Yeah, there is. Skinny Girl popcorn. And so now we are going to wait for this to come on. Yep. And we will come back to you and put it in the oven. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Go ahead, if you have not subscribed to Lisa's channel, if you're not familiar with Lisa and Rob, go over to Life and Serenity. They're a great couple from Canada, from Canada. Go over there and subscribe, like, comment, and let's get this going. Whatever you want to, and... Hey, guys, we're back. We've taken them out of the oven now, and look how good they look. They really came out good. Nice and So crispy. now, Lisa and I looked up, we found us a recipe, and we're going to make some guacamole here. So... We have two avocados. Yes. We need two tablespoons of lime juice. Sure 
sure do. Oops. I forgot you did this way. So I put them well. That's a lot of lime juice I'm thinking, huh? Well, I guess Mexican. That's true. We need two. I say that loud. Jalapenos? Well, not really. Not really. We're just gonna put a little bit of squirt of this in here because I don't like cilantro. So we're just putting a tiny bit of Oh, you don't like cilantro and you love Mexican. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, I'm just Look not, at your face. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of avocado. <laughs> yeah. Now we have a cup of tomatoes. We're supposed to use ramen. All I have is a little cherry, so we're using the cherry ones. We're gonna put the onion in here. I chopped up about, mm, about a fourth of a cup of onion. I said just a little bit so I just made it my own here. Let's see. A little bit of salt and pepper. I still got one more avocado to do. Oh yes. And a little bit of pepper. You're running out of pepper. I got a whole thing. I don't know why they come out. There we go. There. the way I do it. I'm not sure that's the correct way to do it. <laughs> How do you do it? I never have made it. Oh, you haven't? I, I, I'm not a big avocado fan. Well, we're going to see how this turns out. None of us may eat it by the time we get through with it, but we'll see. The ducks. The ducks might like it. Or at least has a friend now. She called it a gecko, but it's not. Okay, it's really I a found lizard. a lizard. You're so cute. We, so we had to make pictures of her and the lizard. So now we're going to cut this on Looks pretty good. Well. Let me smell. It smells pretty good. That is good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Very good. It is. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm now impressed. you see we make guacamole. Now I do like guacamole. In five minutes. There you go. So that is the extent of our thing. We're going to add the guacamole on top. We're going to put some uh, sour cream on top. And we're going to call it a day, and that's going to be a meal. It is so. So if you like it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget, go over, check out Life in Serenity. Give them a thumbs up. Subscribe. And we will see you next time. We have another recipe coming tomorrow with Instant Pot. See you tomorrow morning. Bye. Bye.